Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, I'm glad to have you here today. So today I wanted to discuss something not always mentioned and it's about feelings and failure. So this week I feel like I've had so much failure, so many things I failed at, so many things I didn't do good at. And I realized that I don't really share those with you guys. I know that a lot of times when you're watching videos, people online look like their life is going so good. It looks like everything is so perfect and like they've got everything. They found all the stuff you wish you could buy. And that's not always the case, guys. It's because people hide it. They don't show it. And today I decided, you know what? I'm going to share that with you because I have been having so many fails. I just am kind of feeling down. Like, what is wrong with me? Seriously. So today I'm just going to go ahead and share with you some of my failures for the week. I thought maybe some of you could relate or maybe you could tell me, hey, it's okay, you're fine. Because it really has affected me and I don't know why. It could be because I'm at home. It could be because I'm not seeing other people out and about, you know, not having random conversations with people. It could be because sometimes phone conversations and texts don't always come out the way people mean them to and so the words sent or spoken online or on the phone seem a lot more harsh than they do when the person's saying it. Does that make sense? So maybe it's like not having that human interaction but yeah so today i was going to share with you some of my feels that made me feel this way that way those of you who think that people online are doing so awesome and so great will realize that is not the case okay so first things first um i wanted to share with you that i was taking a shower and needed a conditioner and so I grabbed the first thing that I saw that I thought was my conditioner because I had run out of my normal one that I use and I just grabbed one that I thought was conditioner. And this is what I grabbed. You see that? That is a cuticle remover. I used to watch a lot of those manicure videos online and then I bought this because they said this was good. And I put this and used it like conditioner on my hair. And I had no idea. I had no idea. But after that, I just had to rewash my hair and I had no conditioner. That's another thing. I had no conditioner. My kids borrowed it because they ran out of theirs because they just keep using theirs up a lot and they used up mine and I meant to go buy some yesterday or the other day and it was gone and so I washed my hair with this okay that might not seem like a big deal but seriously when you're washing your hair and you think you're all done because you conditioned it and then you find out you have to rewash like shampoo and condition again. That's not fun. Okay, that was one thing. <sighs> Second thing. Hmm, this is the embarrassing thing. Okay, you know how I always drink tea, hot tea? This one is lukewarm. Well, anyways, what happened is I was drinking my hot tea hot and thinking, oh, you know, that's fine. It'll go away. You know, a lot of people drink hot stuff and then they get used to it and thinking, well, that's how people drink it. Well, guess what? I burned my tongue. I burned it pretty bad. And so I have a loss of taste. Seriously, I can't taste things. This has been on for like 
I think today is the fourth day. Yeah, today is the fourth day that I can't taste things. Seriously, it's slowly coming back. But can you imagine I drank like soda? Well, yeah, it's from a can, okay? So I drank the soda and I was like, this doesn't taste good, this is flat. I thought my kids had dropped the can or something and didn't say anything. So I took that can of soda, I threw it away down the sink and I opened me a new one. And that second one tasted flat as well. So I thought, well, maybe they dropped the whole box and all of it went bad, okay? So that was that first day. The next day when I drank it again, I thought, oh, I put too much ice, it's watered down. So I just kept making excuses as to why I couldn't taste it. Also, the other day I had a plate of spaghetti for dinner and I had my daughter cook it because, you know, it's she's home, she's learning, she needs to learn how to cook. And so she cooked it. And then when I ate it, I took the first bite, I thought, man, she didn't rinse out the pasta or she just threw in water, you know what I mean? And I was thinking, this is so watered down. There's no flavor. I mean, there was a, maybe there was a little bit, I don't know. All I kept thinking was, there's not enough flavor, this is watered down. And then it dawned on me that I couldn't really taste anything. You know, I was still craving something because that plate of spaghetti didn't satisfy me. And this had like, um, uh, this was like a really rich marinara and I just couldn't really taste anything. And so after that, I was like, you know, I need something else. I thought I was hungry, so I ate chips and that wasn't satisfying me. I, it just, you know, when you're not tasting the food, you don't feel really satisfied because it's not like you're actually eating it. I don't know, does that make sense? And then so I moved on to a brownie and then I realized, man, this brownie tastes bland. And then I realized it was me. And so, yeah, that was pretty bad. So that was a fail. Drinking the hot tea was a fail. And then there is more. Oh, yes. So I decided, you know what? I bought all of those arts and craft supplies from the Dollar Tree. It was time to get crafty. And so my daughter and I started painting using the paints, canvases, paintbrushes we got from the Dollar Tree. And let me just tell you, those items work so well. They're really, really good. Some of the bristles do um, shed, but that is so minor. Everything else works so, so good, except I was a fail at it. I painted, I don't like what I painted. And so I got rid of that. I can't show that to you because I got rid of it. And then so I decided, okay, that didn't work. So I ended up spending time doing one of those melted crayon arts and it's a fail it's a fail i don't like it here it is so you can enjoy that was my fail i spent two hours or maybe an hour doing this melting the crayons because i was using a blow dryer and it was awful it it, it just looks like somebody just like some kid just threw paint on there and splashed everything up. I don't even know what's the right way up. You tell me, green on top, blue on top, yellow green on top, or this last one right here, which is kind of a mix of green, blue, and pink. You tell me, because I can't tell what is the way you know, what's the way up, what's on top. And it is so bad. Like, why did I ever think that I could be artistic? As mentioned in the previous video, I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do all that stuff. And 
I wasted an hour of my time with a blow dryer and crayons doing this and this is how it turned out. So yeah, that was my other fail. Next fail. Is this a fail? I don't yeah, it is because I don't know where my um, powder brush is for my face powder. And so I decided to use a different brush because I can't find it. And I haven't washed it in two weeks. Yep. And this is one by Sonia Kashuk. And that's all I've got because I can't find my actual powder brush. So I have no clue where that is. And speaking of makeup that I can't find, the reason why I never showed you my eyebrow console when I don't the reason why, oh, see, another fail, another fail. The reason why I did not show you my eyebrow pencil is because I can't find it. Yes, another fail, another makeup fail. So, yeah. And, shall we keep going? But you see my comb, this comb, I bought it. Um, and I bought a good one too. I think it was Conair. No, it's Donna. But it comes with two, and it wasn't like the cheap 99 cent ones. It was like 4.99 for the pack of two. And take a look at that. See that? I already broke it. I broke it. I paid more for this comb and I broke it. It works well, but I broke it. And I don't even remember breaking it. So that's the sad thing. No clue how I broke it. And my next fail is with work. I was supposed to go on a webinar um, yesterday and I did, but guess what guys? I was half an hour late. And luckily, you know, it was just a meeting where I already knew, you know, what it was. It wasn't anything big and I attended so I do get my attendance for that, but I was half an hour late. So if there was something really important in there in the beginning, I would have missed it all. But thank goodness it's all written up and it's already on the drive, on our Google Drive so I can look it up. But you know, they repeated a lot of the stuff anyway. So I kind of just, you know, I knew what they were talking about, but I don't like being late to things. I don't like no shows for myself. I mean, you do it, that's okay, but I just don't like it for myself. So that was another fail yesterday. And then my <laughs> other fail. Okay, so we do a lot of meetings online and this is a different meeting that I went to again yesterday. And then a lot of people, they'll put up um, like a picture instead of their, um, instead of their own picture online. And the way you do that for the meeting I went to is that you could just hit it so it doesn't like show the video, it'll just show a picture. And I didn't realize that you could be logged on to like Google in your own name on one screen and then on another, well on one tab and then on another tab somebody else could be logged in and if they didn't log out, there's a possibility that their screen picture that they used will show up. Well, guess what? Yeah, it wasn't my picture that showed up. It was the other person's. It was my son's. And so can you imagine he had this whole graphic, like anime picture, and I had no idea Tell my friend sent me a screenshot saying this is what your picture looks like. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I had no idea and it had been up like that for about a good 10 minutes till she finally told me. How embarrassing was that? I just wanted to laugh so much. Like I had to pretend to drink water or I actually did drink water to try to stop the laughter and another fail, when I drank the water, it spilled all over my clothes and all over my mouth. I don't know why, because I was using a Hydro Flask, but it just spilled all over me. And I had to wipe my myself, like my mouth and my, you know, my clothes. 
and I forgot that the video was on at that point and that everyone could see me. Yeah, that was a fail. Thank goodness no one mentioned it. And finally, my failure with friends. I'm so not good at reading people. Well, maybe I am, but then when it comes to me and people start interacting with me, I am not good at reading them. This friendship thing online, phone calls, texting, it's confusing to me. So yeah, I mean, do you guys ever go through that? I mean, is it confusing for you? Cause sometimes, you know, I end up going through um, like a phone call or message thinking, well, what about me? <laughs> Don't I count? I didn't get to say what I wanted to say. You know what I mean? It's just so confusing. And finally, the last thing, and the last, last, last fail happened this morning, actually right before this video. I have a headache. Yeah, a pretty big headache. And so, ran over to take my headache medicine. And then I came here. I was like, wait a minute. And then I went back to see what I took. It was the sleeping pill, so right now, I'm quite tired. If I look really tired, it's because of that. But yeah, that's how my failure ends. I hope for the week, but that's how it ends right now in the video because that's the very last failure I have done. And gosh, gosh, guys, <laughs> my hair is a mess, but you know what? Even with all of this going on and even with me feeling halfway tired, there's still some good. There's still stuff to look forward to because I feel like we are the only people that can change how we feel. I mean, we can't change what others do. We can't change what others say, but we can only change ourselves and our attitude. Even though things happen that, you know, maybe we caused like my painting or my washing my hair with cuticle remover, that kind of thing. Even though that's all my fault, guys, you know what? We are not failures. We are not. Maybe the things we did were a fail, but we are not failures. We are awesome people. I believe I'm an awesome person. Maybe not everyone feels that way, but I do. And so guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm real. <laughs> things do happen. Things happen that don't turn out how I want them to, or I make a lot of mistakes, guys. But you know what? I'm choosing to be happy with what I've got. <laughs> and I actually do always look forward to the future because I know that there's always something better ahead. There's always things we can do that'll make things so much better. And you know, you never know. You never know. If you keep thinking in that failure mindset, then yeah, everything won't look good. That's like, you know, the, half, the cup half full kind of thing. But if you just say, okay, this happened, it's not that great, but guess what? Tomorrow will be better, then it will. There's always ways to find things, to find good in the little things. And so I think I'm gonna leave with that. There are always better things ahead. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I hope you like it. I hope you share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day, guys.